I know what you're thinking. You're like, Devin, you've already opened this. Maybe I have, but the other one was blue. This one is orange, and it's episode one. And you know what I am? I'm a completionist. So I'm going to open up episode one. Why am I showing you the back of the box? I don't even know at this point. I just do things and have to respond to the consequences later. I'm Devin, your friendly neighborhood board gamer, and this is Dem Talks Tabletop, the YouTube channel where the games are made up. What I say doesn't matter, but this is episode one, Vengeance Roll and Fight from Mighty Boards. Mighty Boards is one of the publishers that I had a very wonderful conversation with at Essen. I got to listen in on some of the expectations for their upcoming game, Fate Forge, and I got to learn from Jeremy Howard how this game is connected to and inspired by their other title, Vengeance. I got to drool over the artwork on Excavation Earth, and now I get to open episode one. And I'm gonna move this, you know, a little bit closer to where it's more appealing in people's eyes. Now, as I have mentioned already, this is, I say that, it's in a different video, so I should probably say it again in case this is the only one you've watched. This is a game in which you have a hero with unique traits, they have a player board with basic abilities, you, you can upgrade them to even better abilities from there, and then you go into these locations that have different fights that you have to deal with. They're double-sided, so you get a bunch of different ones. I mean, this one right here, this has got 10 different locations to have fights at. And then you've got all four of the player bet dashboards here, which show off your abilities, which match with the dice that you roll. You've got your training, kind of like experience. You've got health and loot. You've got the items that you can get. You can also upgrade these uh, abilities to be better. So it is a roll and fight in which you are executing uh, clearings of these rooms. You go through. These are thugs and villains and henchmen of different abilities. And then, of course, you have the big bads that you have to face at some point. But all of these are locations that you have to clear through and try to take out as many of the baddies as you can. So you got your player board, you got your, I think they're called den boards. Um, no, yep, they are called den boards, perfect. And then you've got all of your dice and other stuff. I just, I really love the aesthetic of this game. I mentioned this in the other video. I like very much the style of the character arts. It really does feel, uh, I don't know, it feels very gritty and very punchy in a way that's satisfying. If you've ever seen the, it's kind of like a, I don't know, like B-rated sci-fi movie. It's called Upgrade, and it's kind of like this regular guy who gets this like absolutely absurd, oh, those look like those go there. I don't think I figured that out last time, but I'm figuring it out now. Those just like slot in there, don't they? Yes, they do. Look at me figuring stuff out the second time. This is why I got the other episode, was just to figure out stuff like this. I'm living and learning. I'm living and learning. Anyways, what I was trying to say was, it's kind of like one of those situations in which someone who maybe doesn't actually have the capability of going hardcore goes hardcore. And so it's kind of cool. Um, I'm excited to see what that looks like. I'm gonna bust all of these open and slot them in the spot that they're going to. I like, even though this is unused space, I like very much the stylistic um, artwork that is put onto these boards. I mean, I know they're going in the trash, but like props for the effort, you know? Props for the effort. So it looks like those are all items. Yeah, so I think the dark blue are items and then all of these are abilities. I know that for the top down, this portion of it isn't as exciting because I'm doing this off of there. So maybe I should do this over here to where it's a little bit more appealing. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll do this at an awkward physical posture for myself to satisfy you, the viewer, because that's the kind of guy I am. That's the kind of guy I am. And now, I mean, I really just want to put it up against my chest for the extra convenient leverage of holding that and then pushing downward. But you know what, guys? You're just gonna go. We're just gonna go through it and do this as much as necessary. There we go. That's all clear. Can add these to these, to these, to these, and get all of these abilities. Is something happening outside? It sounds like a, a cat or a dog is dying. 
I don't know. As I say that, it sounds really like callous of me to just keep doing what I'm doing, but it greatly depends on whether that's a cat or a dog. Maybe that puts me in a bad spot with some viewers, but also it sounds far off. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. All I know is that I really want to try this game because I like the grimness of it. I like the artwork of it. I like the styling of it. And I think because it is a rolling fight, it's one that I feel like would probably be pretty simple to teach people, which means it might get to the table, which means I, I'm excited about it. Vengeance Rollin' Fight from Mighty Boards, designed by David Turksey with Nora Lee Lovers, or Nora Lai Lovers, and then Gordon Callahay. Or Calleja. Depends on if that's a double L like a Y, or if that's a double L. Anyways, alright. Episode 1. I've already done episode 2, so this is just a quick jump back in to do the other thing. But episode 1, there we go. I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to do a Consolation Pretzel. I'm not going to eat it yet though in this video, I'll eat it in between videos because it took me a while to chew that last time and nobody wants to see that. Timestamp. Cheese knife. Hydration timestamp. See you guys.